Welcome back to the Five Reasons Sports YouTube channel. Brian Fonseca here checking in. You may have heard me on the NBA side of things on this YouTube channel, Bahama Rican Boys, Five on the Floor, etc., etc. Today we are going to be talking about boxing. If you know me, you follow me on social media, you know this is one of my true loves. So let's talk about the sweet science because there are a lot of big fights this weekend. First and foremost, Deontay Wilder versus Robert Hellenius. And we also have Devin Haney against George Cambosos, undisputed lightweight championship on the line. We have others, some of which are available on prize picks, some of which are not, but we're not going to fault them for that. Use the promo code 5 to play along. We are going to make an entry right now, a flex play for this weekend. First up, Deontay Wilder versus Robert Hellenius in my neck of the woods, New York City Barclays Center. Deontay Wilder and Robert Hellenius are fighting in a heavyweight showdown. The last time these two fought was in October. They didn't fight each other, but they did fight on the same card. Deontay Wilder, last time we saw him, he lost to Tyson Fury by knockout. And Robert Hellenius beat Adam Kalnowski on the undercard of that card. They're fighting each other. And what we're gonna pick is Deontay Wilder. We're assuming he wins by knockout. However, the fight time over under, we're staying away from that. 15 minutes, five rounds. I feel like Robert Hellenius can last five rounds. I feel like there's a chance Deontay Wilder knocks him out early, but I do think he's gonna knock him out, if not by then, by the middle rounds. So because of that, we're gonna go under Deontay Wilder's projected punches landed, 51.5. We're gonna go under that. Deontay Wilder is somebody known for his offense, but is not a volume striker in that way. 72 punches landed in 11 rounds against Tyson Fury last time he fought in his last victory in 2019. He knocked out Luis Ortiz in the seventh round, landed 34, 34 sorry, punches that fight. 34 punches that fight. We got it right that time. He landed that many punches because he was sort of surveying, throwing his jab out there, not really throwing anything that far behind it. was actually losing on the cards at the time with a knockout. 41 times, he's found that knockout. So we're going to roll with Deontay Wilder by knockout, and we're going to take under on the projected punches landed. Now, we're going to go to Devin Haney versus George Cambosos. This is in Australia. Undisputed lightweight championship on the line. Devin Haney beat George Cambosos in June. This is a rematch of that fight. Devin Haney outlanded George Cambosos 147 to 100. I don't think this fight is going to be much different, and I also think it's going to last all 12 rounds. Devin Haney, five straight wins by decision, is also somebody not really a knockout puncher, 28 and 0 with 15 knockouts, hasn't knocked out anybody in three years, and George Cambosos, if nothing else, is very, very tough. Devin Haney projected punches landed. We're going over 133.5. He had 147 last time. I think that could even go up because I do expect him to have to counter punch even more and perhaps be a little more aggressive because George Cambosos is going to try to take it to him. So we're going to take Devin Haney's over there. And if you're interested in the other side of it, George Cambosos, who did land only 100 punches last time, 120.5 over under on price picks. I'd probably go under there, but you can't have two guys fighting each other on the same entry. So you have to make another entry for that. We're going to go with Devin Haney here. Last fight we're going to pick. We're going back to the Deontay Wilder card on Fox pay-per-view. We are going to go to Gary Antonio Russell versus Emmanuel Rodriguez. Emmanuel Rodriguez, fellow Puerto Rican. And Gary Antonio Russell is the undefeated prospect here. Somebody who is expected to take it to Emmanuel Rodriguez and really put the pressure on him. That's why his projected punches landed is over or under 145.5. That's a high number. And Emmanuel Rodriguez is good defensively. Should have gotten the win against Raymark Gavallo. He got robbed in that fight. We're going to go with under 145.5 punches landed for Gary Antonio Russell because of Emmanuel Rodriguez's defense and slick ability to counter and get away from punches and things of that nature. If you think Gary Antonio Russell is going to knock out Emmanuel Rodriguez, and he's been stopped before by Neo Inoue, and he stops everybody. But if you think Emmanuel Rodriguez is going to lose earlier in that fight, you have more reason to take the under because if he's going to win by knockout, he probably won't get to land 145 and a half punches. But that number just seems too high. So we're going to do that. So final prize picks entry, flex play for boxing on Saturday night. Deontay Wilder under 51.5 projected punches landed. Devin Haney over 133.5 projected punches landed. Gary Antonio Russell under 145.5 projected punches landed. That's going to be our entry. Remember, promo code 5FIVE and tell them five reasons sports sent you. Peace.